All right, some PAR readings for my 315 watt, 189 chip Sublime Hybrid with two 36 watt 6500K LED bulbs in it. You can't see it. 192. Alright. Took the boost on. Bumps it up to 240 with the hybrid running. I don't know if you can see that. 240. Turn the bulb is back. Back down to 192. Up. You can run these in veg, run them in flower, different different Calvin colors. Alright, that's at 48 inches from the ground. Alright, now we're going to move it out a foot. 181, 187 out a foot. All right, now I'm going to move it out so it's four foot. This light draws about, it's 80, 82 at four foot. This light draws about 290 watts. That's at a four foot coverage. This light covers approximately about three and a half feet at four foot adequately. If you bring the light up, it's well over a thousand. All right. All right. This is my 560 watt, 520 watt actual draw. 333 336 chips 16 modules hybrid with no bulbs in it yet all right we're at 48 inches in height and it's 160 at half power at four feet all right at full power at four feet it's 325 that's in the middle out a foot from the middle it's 272 two foot from the middle it's 135 that's 48 inches from the, the center 100 and 160 foot, two foot from the center right around there that's at 48 inches high with the lenses at full power all right I'm gonna put the LED bulbs in all right we put the 236 watt 6500 K LED bulbs in and she boosts it up to about 352 on the par meter at 48 inches. One foot out, 295. It's hitting. I don't know if you can see that or not. Out four foot. Blocking it. Two foot from the center. 168. Alright. Next on the test is the 450 actual watt 
nine module COB light, which is chip on board technology with no lenses and no lenses covering the chips. This is 675 actual LED watts and 450 on the kilowatt meter. At 48 inches, it hits 78. I mean, it's a bright light, but it just doesn't have the the power of the one with the lenses in it. I can move the the thing around and try to find the best position. I mean, you put it up there, right underneath it. It's bright. It hits. 1500 so I guess if you ran it right over your plants and you were super cropping you would do all right with this light But if you want penetration down in your canopy at 48 inches That's what you get so There it is 450 watt COB light so if you're thinking about one of those that's what it is. And I'll do different tests at 12 and 24 inches, but 26 inches it only was 220, which the Sublime 560 watt quadrupled it on the par meter. All right, last in this video is the 600 watt Sublime panel light. 288 three watt chips. All the chips and all three of the lights are Epistar and Bridge Lux. You can see it. It's a pretty bright light. All the measurements on all these lights are all at 48 inches. The par meter is at 114. Let's move it around. Pretty consistent. Like I said, this one, if you bring it up, Underneath the light, it's pretty powerful if you're going to run super crop. It's plenty. It maxes the, the meter out at 3,000 UMOs. But when you start to drop it down, and it gets to 24 inches, it starts to lose its power. Which, that's still plenty if you're growing. But if you drop it to 48 inches, it's at 110, which is about a third of the 560 watt light that puts out more on the power meter and draws less power. Okay, we'll do the reading from the middle out one foot. 97 out two foot from the center I want to block the light 67 that's for the 600 watt light at 48 inches two foot from the center all right the last light, I got one more 300 watt panel light, 144 3 watt chips, 48 inches, same measurements as all the other lights. Sixty-two in the middle. This draws the same power as the 315 watt nine module sublime hybrid all right out a foot out 52 out two foot out forty and there you got it forty eight inches panel lights versus lenses under the light and two foot out from the center.